thank you for joining us in this fourth week of Advent. I want us to really get ready. I want us to, this week we're going to be concentrating on uh, Matthew chapter 1, starting with verse 18. We're going to look at some different things about what happens between Mary, Joseph, the unborn child, Jesus, some things going on in society at that time, and how we could apply it to our everyday lives now. I'm just going to start by reading it. And it says, this was how the birth of Jesus took place. And I'm reading from the Good News Version. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she was found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All right, so here we are. Think about it. Here's Joseph. There's Mary. Engaged. What happens? She's found an already be with child. So all of a sudden, the mind starts to move forward. Everybody starts to have their thoughts, especially Joseph. Sometimes we need to look beyond. Trust the Lord. The one thing I read in this scripture, though, the Lord had to speak to Joseph. Joseph didn't speak to the Lord. Joseph was just going to follow the law. He was not going to expose her because exposing her meant she was going to be stoned. He was going to put her away quietly. According to the law of Moses, kind of do a, a rich of divorce. He's just going to sign this little thing and put her away. Amazing. When things look like they're not going the way that God has told us they would go. When, when things are not looking the way that we think they should look. When we find ourselves in this place, look up first before we look to the situation. Ask the Lord first. Look out for what the Lord is trying to tell us at that time. But above all, look again because it may not be what we think it is. Maybe the Lord is at work. So in that situation, let's look again. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.